Strict parents raise sneaky kids. And I was one of those kids, so I'm gonna share with you guys some funny ass things that I used to sneak around when I was a kid. And I know you guys are gonna ask me, yes, my parents do know about this because when they kicked me out, I kind of just told them everything. All right, first up, I was one of those girls that would make like my boyfriend drive further than where I live just so like my parents wouldn't see me get out of his car. Anytime I would buy like a crop top or something with short sleeves or something that was ripped, I hid them all in my locker and I would literally change at school. I was literally a transformer. This one time actually, I had a stash of like Lacenza and like Victoria's Secret underwear and bras and stuff hidden in my closet. And then I come home one day and my mom's like, what are these? And because I've just become so good at lying to her, I immediately start laughing when I see them. And I'm just laughing and I'm like, mom, you can't think those are mine. Literally gaslighting her so hard being like, mom, that's not even my bra size. Like those are so big. My boobs are so small. Like it could never fit. So I'm like, oh mom, those are Tanya's. Like she just wanted me to keep them at mine because she didn't want her parents finding them. And then my mom was like, why are you being so sneaky about it? Why didn't you just put it in your underwear drawer? And I was like, mom, why would I put it in my own underwear drawer? I don't want you to think that it was mine. Oh my god, this one time we had this like high school dance and the only reason why I was allowed to go was because I told my mom that I was like running it. Like I was part of the committee or whatever and then I did have like one shot that night and I'm guessing the smell just kind of stayed. So when I came home, my mom immediately smelled me. Like she always did that. If I went out late, she would always smell me when I came back home. And she's like, you smell like alcohol. And my heart literally drops. I'm like, what do I do? So I was like, no, I don't think I smell like alcohol. I'm like, I know other people there were drinking that night and we were kicking anyone drunk out. So maybe their smell got on me or something. And she's like, nope, it's coming from your face. And I'm like, and I was like, I don't know how else I would smell like alcohol unless someone put something in my drink when I left it on the table. And I was like, oh my God, mom, what if someone put something in my drink? And then I start crying and I'm like, oh my God, mom, I'm going to go to hell. God is going to kill me because I drink. Am I going to go to hell, mom? Like, I didn't know. What if they put something in my drink? And I'm like freaking out. And she's like, oh, no, 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 don't worry. Like, just go take your makeup off. I take my makeup off. I like rinse the shit out of my mouth. And when I come out, of course, she smells me again because I know her. And then she goes up to my desk and she smells my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. And she's like, I think it was your foundation. Guys, this right here saved my literal life. This is why I use this foundation every single day. I'm like running out. I need to get a new one. That's why I used House Labs today. But yeah, my life literally flashed before my eyes that night. I think the reason why I got away with so much of this was because I was such like a good kid in the sense that like I was doing the best in school out of everyone. Check out part two for more.